warning of supervolcano eruptions, what a new study suggests. This is by Physical Science, new Illinois University, Illinois geology professor Patricia Gregg and graduate student Haley Cabanis developed the first quantitative model that could help predict supervolcanic eruptions. This is an article, April 30th, 2018. Concern over potential imminent eruptions of Earth supervolcanoes like Taupo in New Zealand or Yellowstone in the United States may be quelling by the results of a new study suggesting that geological signs pointing to the catastrophic eruption would be clear far in advance. To help forecast supervolcano eruptions, a study led by the University of Illinois has quantified the often overlooked effects of tectonic stress on the rocks that house these sleeping giants and suggests that people need not be quick to panic, at least not yet. In the study, researchers set out to investigate regional scale tectonic stresses and unexpectedly found that their models could help forecast supervolcano eruption timing and inform experts on what to expect geologically well before an eruption. Quote, traditionally, it's thought that eruptions occurred when the pressure caused by hot magma overtakes the strength of a volcano's roof rock, end quote, said geology professor, uh, professor Patricia Gregg. Quote, but supervolcanoes tend to occur in areas of significant tectonic stress where plates are moving towards, past, or away from each other, that plate motion will affect model calculations, end quote. Greg, graduate student Haley Cabanis, and Pomona College geology professor Eric Grossfields published their findings in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. The team created a model based on the Taupo volcanic zone in northern New Zealand. They chose this system because of its relatively uncomplicated extensional tectonic setting the type of area often associated with supervolcanoes. However, their models found that any tectonic stress would have a profound effect on the stability of supervolcanoes. Cabana said, it does not matter if it is extensional, compressional, or shear stress. Any tectonic stress will help destabilize rock and trigger eruptions just on slightly different timescales. The remarkable thing we found is that the timing seems to depend not only on tectonic stress, but also on whether magma is being actively supplied to the volcano." End quote. Using their model, the team looked at scenarios with different amounts of stress, tectonic plate movement, and magma supply. They found that in any given tectonic setting, the magma reservoirs inside of supervolcanoes appeared to remain stable for hundreds to thousands of years, while the magma is being actively supplied to the system. Quote, we were initially surprised by this very short time frame of hundreds of thousands of years, but it's important to realize that supervolcanoes can lay dormant for a very long time, sometimes a million years or more. In other words, they may remain stable, doing almost nothing for 999,000 years, and then start a period of rejuvenation leading to a large-scale eruption, end quote. Of course, panic sets in whenever Yellowstone or Taupo experience any change in seismic or geyser activity, but this research suggests that the precursors to catastrophic eruption will be far greater and long-lasting than anything yet documented, the researcher said. Quote, when new magma starts to rejuvenate a supervolcano system, we can expect to see massive uplift, faulting, and earthquake activity, Greg said, and adding, far greater than the meter scale events we have seen in recent time. We're talking on the range of tens to hundreds of meters of uplift. Even then, our models predict that the system would inflate for hundreds to thousands of years before we witness catastrophic eruption. People need to know and keep in mind that this sites like, like sites like Yellowstone are very well monitored, Cabana said. It is also important to note that our research suggests that the whole rejuvenation to eruption process will take place over several or more human lifetimes, 
our models indicate that there should be plenty of warning, end quote. This is from the University of Illinois and National Science Foundation and NASA supported this research. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.